OK, hello, everyone. This is my first uh, uh, time to be here to deliver this presentation, OpenStack Virtual Machine Quickly Available. This is uh, uh, a fast technology we used in our public and uh, uh, private cloud. So, but before this presentation, I uh, would love to give a brief introduction about me and my company. My name is Michael Chu, and uh, my main scope is uh, is on high performance computing, including GPUs, uh, CPUs optimi optimizations, uh, and networking like uh, OVS, DBDK, and uh, also uh, OVS DBDK, VPP to accelerate the cloud networking. Uh, another thing of my team is uh, storage related <coughs> self enhancement. We're using uh, RDMA and uh, EC offloading to accelerate uh, our storage performance. So an example uh, for us in networking is that we make VHLAN networking uh, from two or three gig to nine gig. Yeah, this is our main work. Uh, my company is called uh, China C. Uh, in Chinese, it's Huayun Shuju. Okay, uh, our my company is a, a public and a private Honeybird cloud compute, uh, cloud provider in China. Uh, also, we are our products including big data, CDN, and uh, other things. So, if you if you want to uh, if you want more in information, you could go this link web link to uh, get what you want. Okay, this is the agenda today's. Uh, I will first give you a brief introduction about, about this technology's background and how uh, the technology works and uh, we, how much technology we used. Second, we will give you the brief introduction about the X-ray methods, including the technical details and uh, uh, the, 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 the implementations. Then I will give, show you the performance data. We just uh, comparing with the native OpenStack virtual machine put up. Uh, just, uh, just uh, that, just to think that the dog, the dog. When you start a dog, it's very fast, right? But if you apply our technology, you can create virtual machines and uh, find out that put up it is only lit, um, it only needs maybe one second. It's also very fast. Okay, after the performance data, I will give you a demo to, sh to see how, it, how fast it is. Okay. Uh, when we create a virtual machine, we could uh, separate the times like here, T1 and T2. T1 means it's when, when you create a machine from the website or the console, you could Go through the open stack Nova, and Nova will uh, generate the XML file for Liberworld. And using this XML file, Liberworld create the QML process as first to price the XML file and uh, uh, generate the QML command line. And then calling the QML process to start up this guest. After that, this is what we call a T1. It's including the open stack schedule time. Okay, most optim optimi optimization about uh, uh, here is in schedule, but we have another way. Is we do the accelerate T2. That means when, after we start the QML process, we go to the guest bootloader, and then we put kernel and a guest OS and a lots of uh, services start up. This is very, uh, this will cost, cost a lot of times. Uh, ex for example, in center, center, center OS 3.2, when X window installed, it will cost uh, almost uh, 20 more seconds to put up. Okay, uh, after T1 plus T2, that means the user could log in. We could, when we, when we access the guest using uh, VNC or uh, control 
control screen. It, we will see the login, login screen, OK? Uh, what here you see, what is the difference between VM2 and VMM if a user create so many virtual machines using the single image? What is single image means? That means all this machine is uh, like Ubuntu or CentOS 7.2. Uh, yeah, of this, what is the difference between them? I think they, they are almost the same, except, except what? Except the CPU numbers, the memory, the memories, all the NICs, the disks. Other, otherwise, it's the same, except this I just told you. Uh, even though, if user say, select the same flavor, all of them is the same before user log, user login. This is what and the key we try to optimize. Okay. Uh, hot hybrid devices for guest OSs. To be here, I think uh, some some of you has aware of what we do, but I still need to. Say, what is hot pluggable for guest? CPU, I think, is good. This, this way, we think just from libvot or Kumo, not include OpenStack. Yeah? And memory, storage, NIC numbers, USB or other, like uh, uh, serial, serial consoles, it all can, could be hot pluggable. Except, uh, VG, uh, except the video card, video accelerator card. Uh, yeah. But for OpenStack, uh, in OpenStack, now we support storage, NICs, USBs, but the, for CPU and memories, we does not support hot plugging. Uh, but fortunately, in our, in our OpenStack releases, our company's OpenStack releases, we support CPU and memory hot plugin. This is key. What are we do the acceleration? Okay, here. Create new created VMs equals to base VM plus delta. What delta means is what just I said. The CPUs, memories, or storages or NICs is different between the base VM. But what is base VM? Base VM means you have the list, yeah, you have the list CPUs like only have one. List memories like only 512 megabytes. All one gigabit bytes, okay. <clears throat> and storage, storage here we must have one system storage, not including data storage. All data storage units could be hot pluggable, but the system storage I don't think so. <laughs> it could be hot pluggable. Okay, VM data is different between customer configuration and base VM. If base VM have one CPU, one gig memory and one system disk, and uh, user create new machines, we could, uh, we could increase the CPUs, memories, and disks, NICs, and other hardware, disk, uh, hardware type of this. OK, well, how do we accelerate? We first, save, we, we first put up the base VM and save it to use it later. So we save the VM state for, base VM for VM state. This is memory data. And after that, we create a new machine. Then using the according images. The images was mapped by, was mapped to the VM state. So when OpenStack create disk images, we will check if it has a VM state. If it have, we were pointing from the uh, image servers. Then we reduce the instance. Uh, we, we reduce the instance 
configuration like two, one CPU and one gig memory and boot it up. After that, we do live migration, uh, we do live upgrade. And uh, it's, I think the hardware config configurations is almost the same to the uh, user we want. But after that, it's not enough, it's not enough. We need to modify the guest info. The password, the username, the host name, and Mac, and IP, and uh, what else you want. But the challenge, what challenge of libword? Because we just save the VM state, but libword cannot recognize the VM state does not belong to the, uh, the instance itself. So here, we, we just see the process. When uh, Nova calls the libboard's API called create domain, if it does not find the VM state, okay, go to the normal boot VM. But if it checks that it have, so it will check the VM state's UUID and a name so that it will ensure it belongs to itself. It's, if it is correct, restore the VM, just migrate to fire. So it's very fast. If the force, it will fall back to boot VM. Yeah. So what, 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 do, what do we do to let Libra to recognize the VM state fire? We rewrite the VM state, uh, VM state header. OK. Uh, another thing is data con <coughs> consistency. One VM state must be strictly by injection. And if you do miss things, what will, ha what will be happen? I think your VM should uh, could, could be put up, but could probably it has lots of uh, data consistency, or, or you, you can't report, or you can't uh, you, you even, and you, even you, uh, you even never use it. <coughs> okay, another thing is, when you save the VM state, for the, both the VM state and image files, you, sh you should be keep the, keep the same because if you put up, if, if you're using this image, fi image file to put up another guest, the data in this image file should be changed and the data must be consistency. So uh, before you push them to the image repository, don't touch them anymore. Just, uh, just as I say in before pages, it is weak consistency. It is the consistency. The consistency is controlled by the administration who doing deployation or the admi administrator. But if he does some four things, what happens? I, it's out of control. So another <coughs> scope we consider is we do some uh, checksums on the VM state of header. Just look at this picture. Uh, the header, XML file, and memory data, this, this, this fashion is the liberal's VM state format. So the header including magic versions, XML lens, was running, and a, uh, compressions, and unused. We're using last unused field to do some check some things, but it still has issues. What issues? That means it will cost a lot of time to calculate the CSOM. So it's still a problem, but we, need, uh, we, we would uh, uh, take a lot of time to solve this. But uh, at this stage, we're just using weak consistency. OK. <clears throat> uh, all of accelerating stage, we have three. Deployment, pre-creation, post-creation. And in deployment, we make sure the data con consistency, the relevancy, the image with VM state. We must buy injection, just as I said. And the metadata in VM state, 
because we need to get the VM states uh, flavors like uh, CPU numbers, memory numbers, <clears throat> and the image filter. It's very important for image filter because we push back the VM states to the uh, image servers or image repository. And if you do not do the filter, users may see these files. It's unacceptable. When, do, when we pre creations, we pull VM state and modify name and location to push the VM state to the libert folder. And libert will automatically, automatically recognize this file and rewrite its header using the instance, uh, using the instance uh, uh, XML file. And then put it up. It's very fast. After it put up, love upgrade and inject usernames, passwords. Also, don't forget to change the Mac and IP. Because we do the restore, the Mac and IP was the same with the base VM and it does not equal to what's the VM we created. So we need to change it and guess Other solutions. Here, I just, uh, this is the first idea what I have. And uh, this is f more faster, but it's much complex. Though. Complex. Yeah, what was here means that we do all we do is live migration. We st just start up one images, one, uh, one VMs called base VM. And what user created? We just do live migration to multi host and upgrade the, just do the same thing before as the uh, former one. This challenge is what is uh, that uh, the QMU does not support local machine migration. So we need to modify QMU and a uh, board to let it stop support, support this one. Okay, this is my performance data. This is including the schedule time. Normal ones is the blue, and the fast boot is light blue ones. The color should be, <laughs> I need to change it, but I think it's, it, we could see it. And fast boot, when fast boot, we're using three seconds, point three dot one second. But normal boot, we're using 30.8 second. This is a calculator from you, you click create or you uh, just type Nova boot command and wait for logging. You, when you can log in, the time stops. Yeah. Okay. I will do a demo for what you, I can show you how fast it is. Uh, first, because I, I using the VPN to back to China, so it's probably slow. Yeah. Okay, uh, to be make sure this one is already put up, we, we just check it. Okay, okay, this is a put up one and uh, we just uh, remove it. Sorry, it's, uh, it's in Chinese, but <laughs> I, I could show you the steps. Okay. Sorry, it's very. Okay, that uh, VNC has closed automatically. We now create one. 
named Michael. Okay. Type general source is okay. Fast. Okay, networking. Security. Okay. Okay. Just. Yeah, we can connect it. Okay, sorry. It could log in. And we could try it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you could see we could log in. And that's so fast. After you click create, almost you could log in. It's very fast. And you could do anything you want, rebuild it. Okay. Sorry. But you re when you reboot, it will go to the slow pass and uh, boot up. It, it's very slow. Because we install the X window. And we're using the console to login. So it's uh, snow. Yeah. yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay. Yeah, and a shutdown. Okay. Uh, any questions? Hello. Did you publish any technical details on this on the internet, or it's your private solution that you uh, want to share? Actually, it's now it's our pri private solutions. We will push our code to OpenStack. Yeah, it will be open. Okay. S sorry, Windows VMs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, it does not uh, adopt the, v the Windows or Linux guest, but indeed there's a limitation because uh, we're using the uh, live live upgrade. But for Windows, only the uh, only has two versions. It is supported uh, for normal servers. Like uh, uh, so server uh, one zero one two. Oh, sorry, sorry, two zero eleven, and uh, mostly goes, uh, Windows guest does not support because Microsoft has limited the upgrade functionality in Windows. Only the top. Top editions. I, I just uh, uh, I can grab for you. I think. Oh, sorry, I didn't the VPN. And but I I, I want to say a thing that uh, Windows guest we will support later. And uh, using our other technological te technologies. Sorry, <laughs> using better. Uh, so, sorry, I just uh, 
I just seen before because uh, that uh, they'll have five or more Windows uh, distributions, but only two two support this. Yeah, you you can you can check it offline. Yeah. Any other questions? We change the uh, we change the code in Open Stack in LibVirt. Yeah. When 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 do you think the code will be better? When will you push it? Uh, I think we we probably push it in next uh, July or, or or August. I think in my plan. Also, if you have any questions about this technology or other including uh, networkings, you can contact me for more details. I could, uh, our, our company is very open for this. Any more questions? Okay, if no, I will finish my sessions. Thank you.